Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing a collection from Pure Cosmetics. Um, it's the Barbie collection. Um, my sister has been asking me every time I see her, when are you gonna do a video review on this collection? Since she got me the collection for my birthday. So I figured I would sit down today since I had some time um, and just go over it and uh, review it with you guys. This is the look that I came up with. Um, I'm getting very like wintry kind of vibes from this. So I mean it's just in time for the winter season. Um, so without further ado, um, if you want to see how I got this look and want to see the Barbie collection from Pure Cosmetics, then please keep watching. So this is a collection right here. I believe she said she got me the whole collection, except the perfume. Not the perfume, but um, she got me the eyeshadow palette, the, I think this is the blush palette, the body glitter or the body um, that comes with like the little puff ball in it. Um, these are two glosses. Um, this is a highlight, I believe. And then three lipsticks right here. And then it came with its own like brush set. So we're gonna dig into this today. This is gonna be a talk through video. So let's just go on ahead and get started. So I decided that I wanted to do a talk through video because it's been a while since I did a, like a get ready or talk through video with you guys. Um, I want to say it's been like some months. So um, I've been doing nothing but voiceovers for the past couple of months and then especially for like um, Halloween. So I wanted to just sit here, talk with you guys and really go in to like my experience with this collection and first impressions and everything. So I'm gonna go in with this primer. You already know I've been using this Smashbox Photo Finish Minimized Pores. Um, so far it's been working pretty well. Um, I'm not too oily. Um, it keeps me pretty matte. So I'm just gonna go in with this around my nose in the areas that need to be, my pores need to be blurred. I broke out so bad. I've been bad. I haven't been doing my skincare routine at night. I've only been doing it like during the day and like for the mornings and I just broke out like oh, all right here. Oh, missed a couple of days and bam, just break out. Next, I'm going to go in with my Becca primer. I'm going to the grocery store today after this and I'm going to run a couple of errands. So I need to stay mad for majority of the day. So. I'm going to go in with this in the areas where I get my oily the most, which is pretty much all over my face. And with this one, you just kind of like got a pat, not really like rub, but this is like more of like a patting primer for sure. Next, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. You guys already know this is my favorite foundation. Haven't found any other foundation that I like so far. Um, full coverage, love this foundation. I'm in the shade 3 and one and that's ivory beige. So I'm in the middle of filming a vlog and I mentioned in the vlog that Michael bought me like a ring light because we went to TJ Maxx today and we get here and I tell him like I want to film a video, film this, this review so we set up everything and then all of a sudden my favorite ring light stops working. Like it just, it's not like plugging in. Like it, it was, well it was plugging in but like it, it wasn't like turning on. So like it just stopped working. I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know, but thank God he bought me this other ring light today because I don't know what I would have done. I only would have had one ring light. And by the way, I'm using the Crazy Beauty um, Beauty Sponge, which is my niece's lash company, well, her beauty company. She sells lashes, um, but she's starting to venture out into selling other stuff. Um, so I'll have her Instagram um, linked down below. 
so you guys can check it out and then um if you haven't already definitely order yourself one of these beauty sponges this sponge is bomb it's like really it's soft it's not hard it's really easy to like pounce off of your face and when you get it wet it's not like super like drenched like you can squeeze the water out fine comes out fine like this is a really really nice sponge so if you guys haven't already please go over to her instagram check out and order the sponge because the sponge is life-changing and it's definitely not twenty dollars i can tell you that right now okay and then for the purpose of saving time for the video i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera um if you guys want to know how i do my brows i'll link my brow routine down in the description just don't judge me because when i filmed that my brows were growing out and i was trying to grow them out so they're a little hairy but um i'm gonna have to I'll, I'll probably film a new brow routine when I like change up my like products and stuff um, But yeah, don't judge me because I was trying to grow my brows out because I went and got them threaded and the lady messed them up and Yeah, I just was basically traumatized. So I really wanted to like grow my brows out So they're just like kind of wild in that video, but um Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera right now. So let's just do that real quick Alright, so I went ahead and did my brows, so let's go ahead and dip in. Um, really quickly, I'm just going to prime my lids. I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape just because that's what I've been using and it's been working out fine. So let's just prime my lids real quick. Alright, so these are the brushes. Um, they came in like this little case that just has like little buttons that you press in right there. These brushes are so cute. So not only does it have a pink handle, but it has a point, which I like brushes that come to a tip, point tip like this. And then it has like a bow on it. Oh, this is really soft. Okay, so it looks like it comes with just like a big like um, fluffy brush maybe like you could use to just um, set your foundation with like setting powder and then it comes with like a smaller version of that brush um, you could probably use this for uh, setting your under eye concealer with powder um, or probably you can use this as contour brush maybe you blush looks like we just have like a like a almost like a flat kind of brush for your like your lid like an overall lid kind of brush and then this is a flat brush um so this will probably be for like if you wanted to put something in the center of your lid and then the last brush is a angled brush so this would be like if you wanted to do your brows um or if you wanted to like do like a cut crease you could do it with that brush and by the way michael was able to fix my third ring light so it's holding up right now for now so I got my three ring lights going so the eyeshadow palette is called endless possibilities 2 so this is what the packaging looks like so this is what it looks outside of the packaging this is just the palettes and then it has like a like a breakdown and an outline of what the shades are these are all the shades With what I'm wearing, well, let's just wing it and see what we get. Um, because my eyes are creasing so fast, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier uh, loose powder and I'm just gonna set them real quick. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. This brush um, is kind of just like I was saying, a brush that you put like a transition color or something in your lid, all over your lid. I'm gonna go in with the color Barista Ken. Zoom you guys in. So what I normally do is what I do to one eye, I do to the other eye. So I'm gonna cut out the clips where I do this eye, but 
I'll show you guys the clips for this eye. So I'm just gonna go in with a clean bl blending brush and just blend like the top edges of what I just put in there just because I want everything to be well blended. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using for my transition shade. I'm gonna take the color Trendsetter, which is this kind of light, lighter plummy kind of pinky kind of color. And I'm just gonna put that on top of the transition shade in the crease of my eye. I'm gonna pat it down first and then blend out. Now I'm gonna go in with this color called Dream Doll, a darker, like plummier kind of color of what I just put on my lid. And I'm just gonna keep this more toward the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna pack it on first. Like that put it a little bit in the crease just up a little bit up there just like about halfway and then blend out if you hear water like a fountain my dog he drinks from a fountain like we bought him like not just like a it's like a water bowl but it's like a fountain and it purifies and filters I guess like a water filter fountain. So if you hear that, that's his water fountain. Plus we have a fountain right outside of our backyard door. That's on all day long. So if you hear water going, that's what that is. Now I'm gonna take this color called Imagination and I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner of my eye. This is like a brown kind of color. And I'm just very lightly gonna put that right here. Very light. I'm gonna slowly build it up. Okay, now that I have the color packed on there, I'm gonna go in with the blending brush and blend it out. And I'm just gonna go back in and build it up a little bit more. I'm ready to put up my Christmas decorations already. Like, I have like fall, like the fall decorations I put up in between Christmas and Halloween so like I guess Thanksgiving decorations but like I put them up and they only ever last maybe at the most like two weeks and then I take them down because the day after Halloween is when I put them up but then I go to the store and I start to see like all the Christmas stuff and I want to put up my Christmas tree <sighs> and then I got some stuff today from TJ Maxx to match my I, I do like um, like a pink pink Christmas tree and pink like everything pink so like I bought some stuff today to match it and I just want to put it up already because I'm ready for Christmas how soon is too soon to put up Christmas decorations for you guys because if it were just up to me I would put it up in July as well because people celebrate Christmas in July because it's the halfway point to Christmas, I would do that. So I have my corner eyelashes right here. So they're curling under my eye, my eyelid. Instead of them like going out like this, they go under. It's annoying. I guess I've had it since I was a baby. That's what my family says. My mom and my sister say that they used to go in there and try to get like the lashes out because they would just get stuck under there. And FYI, you guys, they still freaking do. And it's so annoying. I hate it. And I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm gonna go in with this middle shade called Icon. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, I didn't get much with that, so let's go in again. Yeah, I didn't get much with that either. Let's spray my brush. I'm going to use um, my Urban Decay. This is the makeup setting spray. This is the oil control one. 
So I'm just gonna spray my brush and then I'm going to dip it in that color again, Icon, and see if we get a little bit more pigment. Okay, that helped. That helped it a little bit. And I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and just blend right here. And this is what it's looking like. Um, I want a little bit more sparkle. I'm gonna go in with this color Timeless. This is like a purple shimmery kind of color. And I'm basically just gonna put that on the outer corner and put that on top of everything that I did on the outer corner of my eye. Oh, so pretty. I'm gonna put it more toward the middle now. I'm gonna go back in with that brown shade Imagination and I'm just gonna uh, put that back in the outer corner of my eye. Alright, so this is what I came up with. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the color light medium right now just because light neutral um, was a little bit too, too pale on me. So I'm just gonna go in and conceal under my eyes. And I'm using this little itty bitty Morphe, Jeffree Star Morphe sponge and blending out. Okay, really quickly, you guys. So if you see me blinking really hard or like rolling my eyes in the back of my head, that's just because sometimes the fallout from the eyeshadows get in my contact lenses and it really dries out my contact lenses. So I end up having to put like um, eye drops in my eyes later on, but that's usually just what that is. And then of course I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier loose powder and just set my under eye with that. I'm gonna go in with the smaller fluffier brush and just kind of like brush away all the excess. Alright. You can see how I got rid of all of that under my eyes? So let's do the other side. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just contour and apply some blush to my face. So they have their own blush uh, palettes. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then this is what the palette looks like. And then this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I really like that this has a mirror. Um, not a lot of blush, um, blush sets like duos and palettes have mirrors but this one has a mirror so I like that these are all the shades these are all the colors okay I'm gonna go in with this color wish right here and I'm gonna take the smaller um, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna contour with this shade so this is where I messed up I thought that shade was gonna be dark enough for me to contour with but when I put it on it ended up being more like a brick red so I had to go in with a different uh, contour palette and as you can see right here, I was just trying to like buff it out. This is not a contour. This is a blush. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to just really quickly contour my face with this Kat Von D, uh, the Shade and Light contour palette real quick. And then I'll be back with you guys. Now I'm going to go in with a blush, so I'm going to use this shade Sweet Dreams right here, which is this one, and I'm going to put use that as my blush. Hmm, that came out peachier than I thought it was going to. I'm just going to take like a little stippling brush and just kind of blend out. Uh, 
Um, so I wanted like a little deeper um, blush. So I'm gonna take this like purpley plum one um, called California Dreams and I'm gonna put that in my blush area. I'm just gonna like clean this brush and rub it against the towel just to get some of that color off, the old blush color off. And then let's go in with this one. More plummy, which is what I was kind of like going for. So I guess it's not so plummy more of it is pink but when I swatch it it looks purpley plummy so I don't know it's weird it looks plummy on this side but not on this side maybe it's because I have more light on this side the ring light on this side is not that good yeah that is looks way more plummier. It's because this one, the ring light here is really bright. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean up uh, my contour. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder and then this a sponge, it has like a flat side. Um, and I'm just gonna use that to like clean up. And then I'm just gonna take um, some of the leftover contour that I had on my Kat Von D brush and just kinda put it on my nose. And then I'm gonna take this little itty bitty Morphe sponge and clean up on the sides of my nose, like that. Then I'm just gonna dust away all the excess. Now I'm gonna go back in with the eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna take like a, like a little flat brush um, and I'm gonna take the this color up here that I used and this one down here and then this one for the outer corner of my lower lash line and just kind of like smoke it out a little bit. I'm gonna take this center shade icon, the one I use right here for my inner half of my eye, and I'm just gonna take that and put that under this part, in the front, like so. And then I'm gonna go in with that brown shade and go toward the outer. So um, the collection did come with the highlighter, so I'm just going to set my face with my setting spray. I forgot to say that before I started spraying. This is what the highlighter looks like, the packaging, and this is what the little compact looks like. And this is so freaking cute. And you guys, it has a mirror. This brand is awesome for putting mirrors on their products. like. They could have only just put a mirror on the eyeshadow palette and then these other two, no. But they put a mirror. That is very important to me. That is huge major points in my book. I am going to go to Ulta because I'm pretty sure this brand is sold at Ulta. If not, I'm gonna visit their website and I'm gonna go shopping because that right there just scored brownie points with me. I love when they put mirrors in any of their products because that just means that they care about us. They care about us when they put a mirror there. That's 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 how I see it anyway. Okay, um, this collection didn't come with a highlighter brush, but I'm just gonna use like a little brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with the pink, the inner pink corner right here, and cap the excess off. Whoa. Hello. 
Can you see that? Okay, mama. Okay, my battery died. I had to change it really quick. So I was just finishing up putting highlighter, which this highlighter is absolutely wow. All right, I'm gonna take that same color and I'm just gonna take like a little small brush and just go in my normal areas where I highlight. Do a little ball that I learned from Carly Bible. I'm gonna coat my lashes. I'm gonna use this mascara. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Love, love, love this mascara. If you don't know, this was the free birthday gift for the month of October from Ulta. Just gonna coat my lashes. And then I'm gonna use Benefit's uh, Roller Lash and I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes. Okay, so there's three lipsticks that we have here. Uh, there's a red one called CEO, a Barbie pink one called Trailblazer, and then a more toned down pink one called Innovator. So I think we're gonna use the shade Innovator, Inno, Innovator. I'm just gonna use, because. Uh, it doesn't have any lip liners, so I'm just gonna use this Dose of Colors um, lip liner. This is in the Shyla lip liner from the Shyla collection, and I'm just gonna line my lips really quick. So this is what the package looks like. It has a Barbie right here on the side. Oh, you guys, this is the lipstick. Look at how pretty. How do you open this? Look at that. And then it has like the little engraving right here. And it even has it engraved in the lipstick itself. I chose this lip color but the color that I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the other ones for you guys this is in the shade CEO the next color is trailblazer which I totally thought was like a pink color And then we have two glosses right here. Uh, this one is Boss Gloss and this one is Gloss Girl. I said that backwards, Girl Gloss. So this is it. So 
So it has a button and I'm assuming you just push it. Oh, and it pops open. This is a clear one. And then this one is in the color Boss Gloss. I'm just gonna put this down here because I'm running out of room. And, uh, really quickly, I'm just gonna pop on some lashes. I'm just gonna use my Sarita lashes um, from Crazy Beauty. I believe that these lashes are discontinued, um, so I don't know if you can still get them or not, but um, um, like I said, I'll have my niece's um, Instagram linked down below. All right, and now the last thing that I'm gonna go in with is the body glitter. Um, this is what it looks like. Be very careful when you take this out because last time I did it, it went everywhere. So I'm not tan at all whatsoever right now, but in the summertime, this would be great. So this is what the, like, the little puff looks like. And I'm just gonna pat some of that out and just like a little bit. Just pretty much just put it everywhere. I'm just gonna go in with like a flat brush and just kinda go like this. Okay you guys, and that's it for this video. So my overall opinion on this is I really liked the eyeshadow palette, loved the highlighter, um, I loved that everything came with a mirror. This, the brushes were great. Um, I really liked these brushes. I like the fact that they come to a point, like a, a, a tip at the end. Um, I don't know why, but brushes that have that are very appealing to me. That's pretty much it for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up and get this video up hopefully soon for you guys. But that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.